Fresh out of the mailbox, when I did a review of the brand Malege and getting their sample fragrance, I thought it was an extremely photorealistic fragrance with that fruity nuance that smelled like actual fruit. And apparently they liked it because they reached out to the kid and asked for the P.O. box and sent me another fragrance that I have no idea what it is. So let's check it out together. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can check out the new fragrance Malege or Meleg sent your boy. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to you to be today. Now, I don't know much about this brand other than that first interpretation or first impressions that I had prior. Um, it seemed to have come from Canada, I believe. I don't fucking remember, but all about exploring these indie niche brands when they start making a first impressions like they did on the last one. I'm all about checking this out and check out this presentation. Free clean presentation. I mean, is the dude into wood shop? And there's a label here that says Horace. And I hope that's not calling me a whore. I don't know what fragrance this is, and I haven't smelled it. It still has its, it still has its hay in here. Maybe there's some hidden paraphernalia or drug action. I don't know. I know nothing about this fragrance. Okay, so it's called Temple of Hor uh, Horse, not Horse. All right, let's just give it a spray. Let's go right into it. It's got a very basic presentation, stock style bottle, indie vibes, indie vibes. I'm all about indie vibes. I don't really care so much about the bottles. I do like them for presentation purposes, but it's all about the juice at the end of the day. I say that a thousand times. So let's just go right into this shit and then we'll try to find some notes. I don't even know if it's out. I know nothing. I don't know what the price point is. Let's just give it a snip, shall we? Let's just do something different, fun. It's so easy to do a top five, top 50 video, but you know, I want to do something different and maybe do that next time. Oh my God. This is nice. Mmm. Temple of whores. Mmm. This is actually very nice. Mature, sexy. In that gynamy family. Mmm. Mmm. Listen, I think they watch my videos or they, they can feel my vibes or something because this is right up my asshole. Okay, there's a little bit of an alcoholic vibe right on that opening. That initial spritz has a little bit of a, a little bit of that alcohol vibes. So let's air it out for a second, let it do its work. We got a little dirty wet wood. Possible sandalwood. For some reason, I'm getting some sort of leathery essence and possible oud, maybe a touch of oud. It's either suede or leather. There's a freshness here, but it's mostly a gritty leather, sexy, dense. It's got a little bit of a fougerist kind of element to it. Definitely very masculine and also in that old school mature man kind of vibe, but not old and washed up and extra wrinkly and needs lotion and his dick don't work no more. Let's look up the notes. All right, so I was able to pull it up. It's $220. This shit is not cheap. But the top notes are juniper and cardamom. Mid is frankincense, cedar, and myrrh. Base is benzoin. Not much of that juniper or cardamom, really. Not off my skin. Frankincense, I do get. Cedar, it smells a little bit more like sandalwoodish to me. And I get leather. Myrrh, I get the myrrh. Benzoin, not yet. So it says Temple of Horus is a bright, clean incense. Incense is inspired. What? Temple of Horus is a bright, clean incense is inspired by a 25-year-old. Hey, Malaysia, I think you got a little spell check here. And I can't spell, so if I could spot it. It says Temple of Horus is a bright, clean incense is inspired by a 2500 year old formula inscribed on the walls of the temple of horus in id in edfu egypt no florals no animal musks just wood and incense made with a hundred percent natural materials he opens up with a bright frankincense and slows over several hours and drives to a sweeter benzoin resin that's probably why i'm not getting the benzoin resin but i get the woods but i do get a little bit of a leathery vibe maybe it's coming from that combination of frankincense and myrrh that i'm kind of picking up some leathery swedish nuance 
and the incense here is smoky, but it's more of like an afterburn kind of smell. This is a mature, sexy fragrance. It's very nice. I think it's very nice. It's a little pricey. A 50 ml, but it doesn't smell cheap. It smells very unique. I like it. I think I like it. I want Ja to smell this shit. I think it'll be up his speed. I think so, but he's so fucking tripolar. Who knows? I'm gonna give it a ball spray. I like this shit. I might just wear it now. I think it smells fucking nice. Mm, yeah, my dick smells like a temple of horrors. Thank you, Malej, for sending this fragrance. I appreciate the kind gesture. I will appreciate it, and we will get Ja's impressions very soon. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. Fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tag. When it's time to call back oh. for the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib, hey. it's long since you never get in. It's long since that you would think that you would. <laughs>